Good morning. I'm in the central coast of California, and I was at a wedding yesterday of a former employee and now friend. The details of this wedding were incredible. She was one of the most beautiful brides I've ever seen. The wedding was small, intimate, beautiful, and it got me thinking about all the details that it takes to make something real. And about 18 months ago, my friend Davina started with her vision of what she wanted her wedding to look like. And every single week she took teeny tiny steps forward. And what I saw last night was the fruition of a lot of hard work. And I thought about how this applies to almost everything that we do in life, but we don't either like to wait through the details or wade through the details. And we don't sometimes give ourselves the grace to know that like creating that vision takes a long time. We look at other people and we say, oh, they've got the business that they want. Oh, they've got the life that they want. Oh, she just put this wedding together, no problem. But if you look behind the scenes, you will always see there's somebody attending to the details. And that was true with the wedding I saw last night. It's actually true of this trip that I'm on. I'm not a great detail person when it comes to traveling. I, I rely on my husband and actually on this trip, I relied on my best friend, Leslie, for a lot of the details. Um, but the vision was there and we all had a co-created co uh, vision. But it is in the details where the thing comes to life. And I'm wondering how many of you out there have a big vision for something you want, whether it's to travel to a place you've never been before. Like I'm in a place I've never been before and it's so stunning. Um, or I'm creating a business that I never thought I could have. Uh, Davina had this wedding that I don't know if she thought it would come off exactly as it did, but we all have a vision for something. Sometimes it's a little fuzzy, sometimes it's very clear. Mostly we don't know how. And where I find people get paralyzed is that there's so much how to take care of. Like think about a wedding. If you've ever been married, think of all the details or you've ever planned a party. Think of all the details. They don't all come together in one moment. They come together in a lot of little teeny tiny steps forward. And so I wanted to come on today with this amazing backdrop. And I know that this didn't happen for me because I just thought it and boom, it happened. Are you expecting that with your vision? Are you expecting that with your business? Whether you want to start a business or grow a business or you need to change how your business is working for you because it's not working for you. Maybe it's sucking the life out of your life. Whatever it is you want, yes, start with the vision and hold the vision and keep the vision in mind. But I promise you, those little teeny tiny details that you chip away at every day are what's gonna bring that vision to life. The second thing I wanna remind you of is the vision may not be exactly how you have it in your mind the first time you think of it. Um, leave room for the vision to grow and change and morph because what is going to come out of it is better than anything you can ever imagine. I promise you that. So. This is my Sunday request of you to please take a few moments to intentionally put down some details, not too many, maybe a maximum of three details that you need to take care of this week so that you can move toward your vision. Because I want you to have your vision come to life. I want you to have the thing you've been dreaming of for a long time. And for me, this trip I have been dreaming of for a long time and it took a lot of little details. You might need to ask for help for those details. I sure did to make this happen. You might look different than when you get there. This trip sure did. So please take a few minutes today and intentionally get out of your head some of the teeny tiny first steps. And I'm literally teaching this on Thursday this week, I'm teaching you the first three steps you need to make your business real, to get it to where you want it to be, whether you're starting it, growing it, scaling it, changing it, pivoting. The things I'm going to teach you on Thursday, there's three things that you need to know and they're the first three steps and these baby steps can change your life. So I hope you join me. I'll put the link below. Thanks for showing up and, sh and joining me in some sunshine this morning. Bye.